All right, now we're up in the cloud. Hi, everybody. This is Carolyn with the Women's Closet TV show. And tonight's topic is on waxing. Waxing, the JJ waxing men and all this in between. And tonight we have a guest on the show. And her name is Trina Hard, Miss Trina Hargrace. And she is from Serene and Tranquil Moments. Did I say that right? Tranquil and Serene Moments. Moments. I got it. <laughs> I got it. Tranquil and serene moments. So what I'm going to do with Trina, Trina is my best good friend and we do a lot of business together. So what I'm going to do with Trina is I'm going to ask her some questions on waxing. If you hear something that you're interested in and you need to ask her about waxing, feel free to tune in to the live stream because she can, she can hear you, I think, and I think y'all can also hear her. So Trina, what I'm gonna start off with you is, you do Brazilian and Burkini waxing. Tell them what's the difference between the two. Okay, so Brazilian waxing is everything off, from the rooter to the tutor, from your behind, your behind and everything in your around your vagina. So that's different from bikini. Bikini is just um, the bikini area. So at least four fingers in from your, um, from your thigh. It doesn't include the valley. Okay. Next question mm -hmm. is, do you ever get any men that, we, that ask for waxing in the genital area? or in the posterior area? I have had men call in and ask for waxing services, yes. In the posterior area or the genital area? Yes. The genital area and the posterior area. Okay, now with waxing, do you think mm -hmm. that waxing is better than trimming or using the scissors so with waxing um the hair it definitely takes longer for the hair to grow back it's more it's, it's closer and okay. a lot of people prefer waxing over shaving because nowadays like people are starting to get irritated from the razors i don't know if it's a different metal that they're using now for for the razors but now like i've gotten a lot of people who are transferring to waxing Instead and how of long compared to trimming and using the scissors and shaving, waxing is better. So waxing, it depends on how fast your hair grows. So um, waxing is normally from four to six weeks you can go. They have to come in to get re -waxed, to get waxed again. Okay. Now, each time, let's say the first time, because I'm chicken. Okay. I don't okay. do the waxing thing. Okay. Each time, like, okay. let's take the initial wax. My first time okay. coming to get wax. What can I mm -hmm. expect to happen if I'm coming to get wax for the first time? Okay, so for me, my first time <laughs> um, is no, it's normally a longer process because it is the first time, and they are there is a lot of anxiety for waxing when they come the first time. So. I provide them with the numbing cream. Okay. Numbing cream, music therapy. You give them a, a 15 minutes to 20 minutes for the numbing cream to start to, start to activate, and then you proceed with waxing. But I start with small areas because it is their first time, and the pain is very uncomfortable for a first-timer. So each time that I come and get waxed, it's supposed to get easier, it's supposed to get better, it's supposed to be less yes. painful? It's less painful. Once the, as long as you're on a schedule, a routine, mm -hmm. it's less, it's less wax. I mean, it's less, it's less painful. Okay, so how long? Your hair doesn't grow back, it does, your hair doesn't grow back as much, and it's not as coarse. Okay. How long should the hairs be, or short, waxing? So it should be the length of a rice grain. 
that's an ideal length. Okay. And if it's longer than that, what do you do? Like if she come in, she got a full bush down there. What do you she do? has to trim. They have to trim. I give them a pair of scissors to trim, or they can come back and reschedule. Because okay. with that is it's extremely painful because the hair is the the wax is meant to go smoothly over the the hair and for the hair particles to get caught in the wax. So if the hair is too long and you're trying to go over it, it's like the hair is getting knotted up in a way. So then when you go to pull it, it's painful. You know what? You made a face. <laughs> that, that means it's, it's painful. Hi. Mm -hmm. I, thank you, Isaiah, for tuning in. Thank you, Darnell, for tuning in. Let's see who else is on here. Thank you, Robert, for tuning in. Thank you, Joseph. Hey, how are you? Doing better, I hope for tuning in. We're talking about waxing and I hope y'all can hear my guest speaker tonight because she is a waxing expert and I know men do get waxed but she don't do men. Am I right? I do no. men. I will do men. Oh, well let's talk about them in a minute. She do do men and later on tonight y'all going to know where her spot is located and how to get in contact with her. I give y'all all that information. So when it comes to men getting waxed, mm -hmm. is it normally like hairy men who have a lot of hair on their chest, hairy men who have a lot of hair on their back, underarms? Well, most of the time, I've never had a man eyebrows. come to No. They normally come to get manscaped. Manscaped. Y'all got that? Yeah. Manscaped. I didn't get men to come in to get their chest or eyebrows down. Mm -mm. Most of them are coming to get Manscaped. Okay, now with them, mm -hmm. I know, because they got the package going on down there. Mm -hmm. you have to tell them, like, shift the package to the other side and move it out the way yeah. so you can Most get the, the package you want waxed. Yeah. Mm. Are they comfortable with that? Yes, they are. Okay. They are comfortable with it. Have mm -hmm. you had any strange sessions where you got a tent doing waxing session? You know yeah. I'm going to go here. Come on, Trina. <laughs> <laughs> you know yes, I'm going to go here, sister. I have. I have. But, you know, once you pull that wax off, the tent goes down. Okay. Tent goes down. <laughs> Is Gigi still there? Huh? Is Gigi still there? Is Gigi still there? Yeah, she's talking to my client. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so what I want y'all to do, I'm going to ask y'all this. Do you, okay, somebody said they got their beard waxed. Do you do beards? Do you wax beards? I Have don't. you ever gotten any requests for that? I haven't. She haven't got no request for beard wax. Anybody else have any questions for her? Because she got clients. Oh, I didn't see the rest of it. I have a one of my military buddies. He says mm -hmm. he got beard wax and he'll never, he'll never do it again because it was very painful. Yeah. Yes. Yes. But you apply numbing cream. So does that help mm -hmm. with the pain when it comes to the beard? It does. Yes, it does. Okay, let me ask you this. Isaiah, when you got your beard wax, did she or he apply any numbing cream to you? Just type in yes or no. He normally responds back. So Trina, okay. yes. so we've discussed the difference between the bikini wax and the Brazilian wax. We discussed the trimming, the scissors, and the not do nothing at all. Mm -hmm. Well, let me tell you this, Darnell, hold on.
I'm going to let my expert, I'm going to answer that question, but I'm going to let my expert answer the question too. He says, why would a man want to get waxed because it sounds gay? Um, most of them are that I have gotten. She said most men that she has done are gay. Talking about the genital area, right? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to be very blunt with this. In the penis, dick area, yeah. Gay men get waxed. They get waxed all in between the ass as well, Darnell. Mm -hmm. They do. But mm -hmm. men who are not gay will get they well, hairy men, they may get their back wax, their chin wax, mm -hmm. um, underarms wax, chest wax. So mm -hmm. for the men that are not gay, Darnell, they may mm -hmm. get wax on the chest, the back, the underarms. Gay men okay. don't have no problems asking for wax in the private area, in the front, or in the back. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And we do have a do have someone in the live stream who has received who has gotten his beard waxed, but he also said he wouldn't do that ever again because it was very painful. So Trina, mm. you're in the Philadelphia area. I want you to tell everybody where you're located at, how they can get in contact with you, because your client is waiting on you to be serviced and I don't want to hold you any longer. Okay, so um, my address is 5899 Lancaster Avenue, Suite 5, the second floor, Tranquil and Serene Moments. Our phone number is 267-694-7053, and you can book me at stylesheet.com slash Trina H. Thank you, Trina. Tell Gigi Thank I you. had a nice time, and we got to do lunch. I will. <laughs> All right, take care. I'll talk to you later on the night. Cause I'm going okay. to a gathering after this, so I'll be I'll call you late on the night. Is you still going to be up okay. at like 11, 12 o'clock tonight? Yeah, cause I have to stop past and see my cousin. All right, I get you. She hosts an event, so I have to pop in and show my face. <laughs> All right, I know that's right. Take care, babe. All right. I'll talk to you later All right. on the night. All right, listen All up, right. everybody. Okay. Tonight, men do get waxed. Men do get waxed. Um. I've received phone calls from men who have said, do you do Brazilian wax? Okay. No. Trina, I can still hear you. I know. I'm trying to log off. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'm like, I'm trying to log off, but I can't. All you got to do, me. this is how you log off. Just hit leave the room and it'll log you right out. Okay. Let's see if she got it. I don't think so. <laughs> there you go. She logged out. So, um, I have had requests for men that ask for bikini waxing or um, do I do waxing on the posterior area? I do not wax men, period. Um, not in the genital area and not in the posterior area, but I will do leg waxing, back waxing, um, chin waxing, eyebrow waxing. But for a man, I'm not going to be doing any waxing in the private area. So y'all heard about the difference between bikini waxing and Brazilian waxing. You learned or you heard about the difference between waxing, trimming, using the scissors, or doing nothing at all. You also learned about how long the hair should be if you are going to receive a wax. Hi, internet. Thanks for tuning in. So that's what I wanted to share tonight. Tonight is very, a very, very short segment because my guest had to go in service her client.
and I still wanted to get in some background information on waxing and why people should or should not get wax in the private area or all over the entire body area. Do y'all have any questions for me before I let you go? Me, I'm not trying to wax anything. I'm not that brave yet. I do get my chin wax, but that's just about it. And that, Trina does my chin waxing, but that even has a sting to it. So to have the private area wax for me, I don't think I'm that brave, not yet, because I've heard the stories. But chin wax is as far as I'm going to go, and that's it. Everything else is trimming, scissors, that's it. Antoinette, thank you for tuning in. Steven, thank you for tuning in. Isaiah, thank you for sharing your story. Darnell, thank you for your comment because men do get waxed. Yes, they do. And Robert, thank you for tuning in. They got your money. <laughs> they get that money. Oh, oh, okay, I will. Darnell, reach out to me later on. Everybody, I want y'all to tune in, you too, and you, tune in for next week's show. Next week's show. Thanks, Mark, for tuning in. Next week's show is going to be on child molestation. Please tune in, tune in next Thursday at 7 o'clock. I will be doing a segment with a guest speaker on child molestation. It affects a lot of people from childhood, but however, these individuals live with it, and they have a lot to go through. Some people end up in counseling because of an unfortunate thing that happened to them as a child living through it and becoming an adult and living through child molestation. So please tune in next week, seven o'clock Thursday on the Women's Closet TV show, The Forbidden and the Taboo. Next week's session is on child molestation. So tune in everybody and I thank you for uh, tuning into the show and please share, please share my show because we never know who, whatever segment I'm doing, we never know who it can help. It may help somebody. Also, join the Facebook group. In the Facebook group, I have all the resources in there. If you want to download and you want to get some information, every segment that is done, the resources are in the Facebook group. All you have to do is go in, print it up, download it, share it. Take care, everybody. Have a good night. Happy holidays. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody. Take care.